All right, all right, all righty, all right. What's going on, everybody? My name is Pete, but you probably already knew that. But in case you didn't, you guys are watching the one and only Paid to Drive and Paid to Drive Vlogs, day number 1308 coming at you. Hope you're having a great day out there. If this is your first time watching one of my videos, welcome to the channel. Uh, make sure to leave a comment right now saying first timer in the chat or the comments down below so I can welcome you properly. But if you've been here before, leave a comment saying before so I could also say what's up to you. And if you drive for apps like Grubhub, DoorDash, or Uber Eats or any of the others, you should definitely be subscribed to this channel with hitting that red subscribe button down below. It's free, so I'll give you a second to do that real quick. And tap that little bell to the right and set it to all so you don't miss any future updates. Let's jump into the topic. So this particular person who wrote this email, um, they did ask to remain anonymous, okay? And this is sort of like a response to a video that I posted not too long ago. And uh, well, enough talking and let's just jump into it. So this, per this person says, I recently saw your video about things getting scary, like the carjacking and other things that we've heard. There was a death through Uber Eats, but there was also a murder through DoorDash. A woman showed up to deliver an order at an apartment and two 15 year olds shot her. So far, we don't have a reason why. I live in the fourth Fort Worth area. Um, hold on one second. Da -da 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 -da. Uh, I live in the Fort Worth area, a little south actually, and for the most part, it's been great. I've had over 500 deliveries with DoorDash and only one violation for being late. I started Uber Eats about two weeks ago and I've had nothing but trouble. Uh, customers reporting me for not being professional, reporting that they didn't receive their food and Uber just not caring. Uber Eats basically told me that I still have my job, so go back to work. DoorDash at least has a report to fill out to defend yourself. I'm writing this because this recently happened to me on Facebook with a customer. The customer sought me out in a local, a local city group and reported that I never dropped off his food and I have horrible customer service. I know that I dropped off his food, but mistakes happen if he listed the wrong address or something like that. The thing is, I didn't have any reports for non-delivery that day, and I never got a text message questioning where the food was. He did remove his tip, like he said in the post. The thing is, people in the comments were wishing that I would get a flat tire, making fun of my weight and profile to make fun of. Uh, yeah, uh, there were over 220 comments in less than 24 hours of people purely insulting me, and I don't think I've met a single one of them. I went and posted it in the Uber Facebook group that's local. They blamed me and I got attacked. They asked me why I didn't have a picture. When you take a picture through the Uber app, it doesn't save to your phone. On DoorDash, you can take a picture with your camera and then load it onto the DoorDash app so I have it. I'm learning a new system. I'll post some pictures of things that happen and you can discuss this subject in general on your channel, but I don't want any pictures shown or my name, which is why I'm not doing that. Um, I'm just wondering if any other Uber drivers are being tracked down or harassed online from customers. Surely this is not a common thing. It's not, I'm not sure what people are thinking anymore. I thought being an Uber driver would be hard, but not delivering food. I spent the weekend crying on and off and I'm quitting Uber Eats for my safety because it shows my picture on the profile. There's not much else I can do. Okay, this is a first for me on this channel. Okay, I don't know if this has happened to any of you out there, but please speak up in the chat or in the comments down below if you have ever had a customer get so angry that they were so displeased with the service that you provided that they literally went to Facebook to find you like they found this particular person. <sighs> That's a little creepy. That's a little scary. And I, and I will tell you this, okay? We have a Facebook group Delivery Driver Lounge. Uh, I was really pushing this group very hard in 2019 and into 2020. And I saw it out and I said to myself, when we start this group, I want it to be as drama free as, pro as possible because I know how toxic the other Facebook groups can be. I've been in them. Uh, people talk a lot of trash about me in the Facebook groups. I, I've had people send it to me. I don't go out looking for it, but I know how angry and 
brutal those people can be in those Facebook groups. Now people say, oh, well, you should be able to take criticism. Of course, I'm taking criticism, no problem. But this particular person, by posting their experience, and clearly this person did their job, but clearly the customer was not happy with it and tried to go out and harass this person, you know, that much further and took the tip away. I mean, come on, dude. That's, that's a, that's absurd. That really is. And to this particular person, um, I'm, I'm very sorry you had to go through that, man. People suck. People suck nowadays. I mean, that is really the only way that I, I can put it is that people just suck nowadays. And I'm very sorry you had to go through this. Seriously. I, I really, I feel for you because again, I, I get attacked on a daily basis in these Facebook groups with people saying that I don't know what I'm talking about. I'm a waste of time. I provide no info, blah, 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 blah. You know, it is what it is. I've been doing this for four years and I know I've helped thousands of drivers out there. I have the emails and the comments to prove it. So I have nothing to prove to these people and neither should you. So if you guys ever have anything you want to send to me, email me at paid to drive stories at gmail.com and I can make a video for you or I can just answer your questions. It's the best way to reach me. On another note, I do want to take this time. You guys know what time it is to thank all of our patrons over at patreon.com slash paid to drive. If you sign up, I will give you uh, shout outs in all of my new videos, just like this. So when you hear your name called, say, hey, Pete, I heard my name. If you want to sign up, links in the description down below me or in the pin top comment. Of course, Ultimate Driver, Marie Sabo Batwell, 100 bucks per month. Thank you so much, Marie. And of course, Lee Peacock, Brian Pomeroy, Brian Richardson, Heidi Barnes, Kurt Paul, Serena Siddiqui, Tulsa Todd, William Boudreaux, Alan G. Van Horn, Drew Hanor, Fernando Carranza, Frank Haviland, Fresh one, list goes on. Jason Casta, Justin Case, Katie Coppin, Lulu Laura, Natalie Mosley, Sarah Keston, Scott Freisner, Sherry Cassidy, Stephen Neely, T. Breeze, Ginny Thomas, Matt Epperson, Nick G, Terrence Pacheco, and of course, Valerie Brown. Huge shout out to all of you. Sign up down below. And, and, of course... Make sure to sign up on the Get Upside Gas app. If you don't know what it is, it's a free app for your smartphone, any smartphone. Links also down in the description down below. You download for free, pump your gas, print out your receipt, take a picture of your receipt with the Get Upside Gas app, and within 48 hours or so, you will get anywhere from 15 cents to 45 cents a gallon back, which is pretty fantastic. And if a friend or family member signs up using your code, You'll get paid every time they pump gas. It's called Get Upside. Links down below. Make sure to download it. And of course, if you want to get one of these beautiful shirts like say, that say, all right, all right, all righty, all right, or lots more, go to paytodrivestore.com. Go check it out at least. You know, everything's on sale. I make like 50 cents a shirt, so it's not like I'm getting rich by selling these shirts. I just think it would be cool if people in the community uh, wore them and took pictures and it would make me feel better. You know, what can I say? So paytodrivestore.com, everything's on sale. Go check it out. If you made it to the end of this video, comment end 821, end 821. And subscribe with all notifications on. Hit that red subscribe button down below. Turn on the notification bell to the right. And of course, if you wouldn't mind, please hit that like button on your way out. Let's see if we can get 150 to 200 likes. That's our goal. Let's see if we can hit it. And until next time, get that money. Get that, honey. Keep hustling and keep bustling. And we'll see you guys next time right here on what channel, everybody? Paid to Drive and Pay to Drive Vlogs. Have a great one. Drive safe and be excellent to each other.